What I do know is that for the administration that has been terrifying us, well, the wheels have already come off. The folks behind Mr. Cool acting a tad bit creepy. An email from a guy named Sperling that I tell you will leave you hurling. Why does economic advisor Gene Sperling clearly threatening one of the most celebrated journalists in Washington? Apparently because Bob Woodward wasn't towing the administration line in Washington. Sperling blasting Woodward for reporting the president was changing the entire sequestration debate by essentially moving the goalposts and suddenly demanding revenues, i.e. taxes, when all sides had long ago agreed, including the president, it would only be about the size of the spending cuts. Now, I want you to focus on that portion of Sperling's email to Woodward that gets really creepy. I know you may not believe this, but as a friend, I think you will regret staking out that claim. Dun, dun, dun. You will regret staking out that claim. What? Was that Sperling pulling a soprano? Now, imagine putting that in the form of an email. But could you imagine if that were coming from a Bush White House official? Well, quite rightly, the media would be all over it. And the guy writing it would all but be in prison for dare even thinking about it. But no one, no one is asking for Gene to just pack up. Maybe because they don't want to risk this White House's wrath. They know this White House's history.